Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to simplify algebraic expressions. We will use the distributive property and we will combine like terms in order to do so. Let's jump into number one where we have 13a plus four and then in parentheses a plus nine. Now, since we have parentheses, we need to start there. We can't combine the terms in the parentheses, they are unlike terms, so we can use the distributive property to remove the parentheses. Once the parentheses are removed, we can look to combine like terms. So let's distribute that four to the a and to the nine. So we have four times a, which is four a, and then four times nine, is a positive 36, so plus 36. This is a positive 4a, and then we can bring down 13a. Now that we removed the parentheses, we can look to combine like terms in order to simplify this further. So do we have any like terms that we can combine? Yes, 13a and 4a are like terms, so we can combine those terms. 13a plus 4a is 17a, and then we have that positive 36, so plus 36. And this is our final simplified expression, 17a plus 36. Now that simplified expression is equivalent to the original expression. We were just able to simplify that original expression by using the distributive property and combining like terms. Let's move on to number two, where we have five, and then in parentheses, x squared minus three, end parentheses, plus 10 minus four x. Let's start by using the distributive property in order to remove the parentheses. Then we can look to combine like terms. Let's distribute this five to the x squared and to the negative three. Five times x squared gives us five x squared, and then five times negative three gives us negative 15. Now, another way to think through that distributive property there is to do five times x squared, which is five x squared, bring the subtraction sign down, and then do five times three. We get five x squared minus 15 that way as well. Just a slightly different way to think through the distributive property. Then we have a positive 10, so plus 10 and then a negative 4x, so minus 4x. Now that we removed the parentheses, we can look to combine like terms. So do we have any like terms that we can combine? Yes, we have two constant terms, negative 15 and 10. So let's combine those like terms. So we have 5x squared minus 4 x, that's a negative 4x. The term will take the sign that's in front of it. So make sure we have negative 4x there. And then the constant term comes last. So we have negative 15 plus 10 or negative 15 combined with positive 10. That gives us negative 5. So minus 5. And this is our final simplified expression. 5x squared minus 4x minus 5. Now I do want to mention as far as how this simplified expression is written, typically speaking, when writing expressions, the greatest exponent comes first, so greatest to least. If exponents are the same, go in ABC order. Constant terms go last, so we have 5x squared, the exponent of 2 comes first because that's the greatest exponent, then we have negative 4x, so that variable has an understood exponent of 1. Remember, whenever there isn't an exponent written, there is an understood exponent of 1, so to the power of 1. Anything to the power of 1 is just itself. And then we have the constant term of negative 5 last. So that's something to keep in mind as far as writing out expressions. Let's move on to number three, where we have seven, and then in parentheses, g plus three h, end parentheses, plus 
4, and then in parentheses, 2g minus 6h. Let's start by using the distributive property to remove any parentheses, and then we can look to combine like terms. Let's distribute this 7 to the g and to the 3h. So we have 7 times g, that gives us 7g, and then we have 7 times 3h, that gives us a positive 21h, so plus 21h. Then we can distribute the 4 to the 2g and to the negative 6h. 4 times 2g gives us a positive 8g, so plus 8g, and then 4 times negative 6h gives us negative 24h. A positive times a negative equals a negative, so negative 24 h or minus 24 h. Now for this expression, I'm going to rewrite it with all of the like terms next to each other. This is a strategy we can use to organize the expression and make combining like terms a little simpler since all of the like terms will be right next to each other. So let's identify any like terms in this expression. We have 7g and 8g and then 21h, which I will box in in order to separate, and then negative 24h. Let's rewrite this with those like terms next to each other. So we have 7g plus 8g plus 21h minus 24h. Remember, that's a negative 24h. Now all of the like terms are right next to each other. So like I mentioned, it's a little simpler to combine the like terms. So now we can combine like terms. Let's start with 7g and 8g. 7g plus 8g gives us 15g. Then we have 21h minus 24h. So positive 21h combined with negative 24h. That gives us negative 3h, so minus 3h. And this is our final simplified expression, 15g minus 3h. Lastly, let's move on to number 4, where we have 18x minus 10, and then in parentheses, 2x minus 2y plus 9, and parentheses, minus 6x. Let's start by using the distributive property to remove the parentheses. We're going to distribute negative 10. We take the sign that's in front, so this is negative 10. We need to distribute to the 2x, to the negative 2y, and to the 9. Negative 10 times 2x gives us negative 20x. Negative 10 times negative 2y gives us positive 20y. Remember, a negative times a negative equals a positive. And then we have negative 10 times a positive 9. That gives us negative 90. We then have the negative 6x and the positive 18x that we need to bring down. Now we can look for any like terms that we can combine. So do we have any like terms? Yes, 18x, negative 20x, and negative 6x. Let's rewrite the expression with those like terms next to each other. So 18x minus 20x minus 6x plus 20y minus 90. Now we can combine like terms. So we have 18x minus 20x minus 6x. So we are combining a positive 18x, a negative 20x, and a negative 6x. 18x minus 20x is negative 2x. Negative 2x minus 6x, that gives us negative 8x. Then we have plus 20 y minus 90. So negative 8x plus 20y minus 90 is our final simplified expression.
So there you have it. There's how to simplify algebraic expressions. And we used both the distributive property and combining like terms. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.